Hi everyone. Um, I've been asked to do the tutorial how to make these moulds because I've made that one of the uh, rose. <coughs> so let me just get the light right. I think that's about it. Sorry about that if the camera's moving. Just trying to get the light right. So um, what I've done is I've chosen some small bits because I don't want to be using all of my putty up because I need it for other things. So I've just chosen some charms to make some uh, moulds from. And um, first of all I'm just going to do this one. And I'm not sure how much I've got. Now what I'm using is this amazing mould putty. And um, you need there's two components to it. That one and that one. And it costs about $20. Um, and what you do is you take equal amounts of the two. I'm just hang on because I've got it stuck everywhere. It's getting soft. Equal amounts of the two. Um, what we do is to roll it in your hands into a ball, and then just roughly the same. Take them and you mix them together, and just mould them into your hands like that. Mould them. Huh. Just keep doing that. Hope you can see that until it's all one colour. And you've only got a few minutes to play with this, so but it doesn't take long to do. So that's more or less like that now. Oops. Put it all over me. Just do that. Now, I'm go only going to take a small amount from that. Um, and press it down. And then lay that over the cameo. I'll turn it upside down and do it that way first. And push that into the mould. And just make sure that the sides are built up. Hopefully I can... See, I've got it. I've put it on the wrong mat, haven't I, Celio? Start again quickly. Get that done. Let me get a non-stick mat. Because I didn't have one. <laughs> like that. So I'll pop that onto there. Again, flatten it out. Pop my charm onto there. And just press it out like that. And as long as it's uh, around the sides, you just leave that for a few minutes. Um, see that's going now so I have to be work really quickly with it and see if I can do this one I'm going to do the camera one next like that Just push it in I can build this around here like that I'm not bothered about it not having um, a loop on it. I've got the mould and can do that. Just leave that like that. Uh, and again we'll do this small one because I do want a mould of that one. Actually it might be a waste of that so I'll do the other one. That's the one that will do that one I think. Pop that charm on and push that into there. Building the edges up like that. And then what I'm going to do if I can find I did have one is get a piece of wire and just chop that off. Like that. And just pop that in the end like that and that you will have a hole to put onto something. So that's those, just leave those as is. I think actually I have to mix a little bit more. Roll it in your hands and equal amount of this one. Take a little bit of that off. They're yeah, about the same, not quite. And then just mix those two together. And it's the mixing of the two together that makes the mould and helps it set. like that's fine. Just take that off. 
push that down. I'm going to see if I can get that one done, which I've got the right way. Pushing that into the mould and then lifting that up around it. Because when you pour your mould into it, or whatever you're putting into it, you need to make sure it's... Uh, You've got that, that's fine. Now let's do this one quickly. I'm going to squ squish it out a little bit because I want to get the shape I'm after. Hopefully you can see this. And I'm going to do this one. I'm going to get the shape. Pop that into the mould and press down and then push it up around the edges stick that in there and that'll do that and they do come out really nice you can use hot glue you can use um, uh, PVA glue because I've done that one as well these were made from PVA glue that's all they were poured in sorry they weren't these were made from the hot glue um, and I've already used one of mine on a project you can use plaster of Paris let's make sure that's level like that and the one I do want to make is that one. So I'm going to try and do that one. Let me shove that to one side. Just leave them. They take about 10 minutes to dry. 15 minutes, something like that. Right, we're back. Sorry about that. The camera cut out again. Now, just within a few minutes, um, there's the mould for the clock. It's come out nice uh, imprint. So that's that one. The pendant also came out nice got all the detail in that it should have that pendant came out nice you just peel them off the cameo and the clock, uh, clock the uh, camera that's another one I think these are just about setting I've just done the teapot like that and then the bird hopefully hopefully that's worked and just peel it off I absolutely love this bird pull it out Yes, and I've got the impression of the bird. So I'm thrilled with that. Oops. Just peel it off. Like that. Just use my nifty knife. It, take that bit out and there you go because it can be hung by this one here so I'm thrilled with that thrilled with all of them just going to leave them out for a few minutes to make sure they're absolutely ready to go in the box and uh, that's how you do it and that's how you get these so I hope that's helped uh, where do you get this from Glenda? Um, you got that in Michael's Right. Well, not all Michaels uh, have it. Uh, I, uh, I mean, I found that. But Hobby Lobby carries it. So Hobby Lobby, Michaels, and 
Hobby Lobby. You can order it online at Hobby Lobby. All oh, right, so as Glenda says, you can order it online at Hobby Lobby. Um, and this did cost me about twenty dollars, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Nineteen something. Yeah. yeah. So, and I will be getting some more ladies because I do like that. And you can do. There's an awful lot of charms in that that you can um, make molds from. That you've, you know, charms you don't want to let go. Like this one. <laughs> I like this bird one. Yeah. Really fancy, so, and that is not going anywhere. <laughs> but in my box, oh, the only one I didn't do is that one. Didn't, oh, I thought I'd done that one. Never mind. I can do it another day. So there you go. Right. Say goodbye, Glenda. Unless you want to stay chatting for some reason. I don't care. Whatever you want to do. If you if you don't want to chat with me, that's fine. <laughs> Are you in the mood? No, I'm not in the mood. Then what's the matter with you, honey? No, I'm not in the mood. No, no, no. Answer the question. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with me? Yes. I don't know. Do you know? I'm just, I'm just absent-minded lately. Yeah, I think we all are at the moment. Do you know what I did this morning, or have I already told you? What? I watched all our videos again from the US. Oh, my God. I, w I couldn't get to sleep last night, so I was up all night. I've been to bed this afternoon for about four hours, haven't I? Yeah. Uh, so, in between doing my journal book, um, just messing about, I uh, was watching the videos from the US, and I all I did was laugh. I absolutely pickled myself laughing again. Yeah. We had a really good time. It was an amazing time for me. I th I'm thrilled to bits and loved every minute of it. I want to come back. We want you to come back. <laughs> I don't want to be here. I want to come back. We want you back. Yeah. It's like Randy said. You know, the stock market dropped because... <laughs> <laughs> You heard that the stock market dropped when I left. Yeah, yeah, you lots, you're gonna miss me, you. <laughs> we are. Mm. I mean, we do. It was just, I had fun spending. I haven't spent like that for years. Yeah, but you spent, you spent wisely, and we only got stuff that was on clearance or on sale. That's true. Apart from the, uh, yeah, no, they were even on sale, weren't they, or, or reduced. Yeah. The art shop. I did. I um. I picked up some real good bargains. I did spend only in the bargain sections when I could, and the garage sales were absolutely awesome. Got some wonderful stuff there, and the stamps. I can't wait for them to arrive. There's a box full of stamps coming on their own. Yeah, you did. You did excellent on that. Yeah. Um, and I just, I was thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Um. I did save all year, and I did work my ass off the last couple of months, but uh, it was well worth it, and I actually came home with some money. That was silly, because I could have gone another shopping. Yeah, we did something wrong there. Yeah, we did, yeah. Brought a little bit back with me, but it's gone now, that. So you don't last long when I get back here. <laughs> don't, don't choke yourself over it, love, that's fine. I know, I know. Oh, I've got to show people this just before the camera goes off. A friend in works left this for me. It's fun and fancy window colour. I'm going to be coming back and showing you what to do with that. So if you want to look it up on the internet, it is really good fun, especially if you've got children and grandchildren. Fun and fancy. And it's Marabou by Marabou. Type that in, Marabou, fun and fancy, and it'll come up and it'll show you what to do with it. I'm going to come back and play well, I'm fun and fancy. You're fun and fancy, are you? Yeah, yeah. Who are you telling? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to come and play with me with this fun and fancy stuff? Yeah, yeah. Okay, darling. We'll be on shortly. Right. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, ladies, we're back. Now, what I've done is I've got some of this uh, Fimo clay. And I've just done the brooch. Uh, the pendant and what I've done with it I've just used a little bit of perlex in the um, grey lavender quite nice brushed it on inside all over <coughs> I 
I've got a wheeze. Uh, blew that out, and then just what I'm going to do now is where's my where's my um, cutter? Oh, we're not using that. I'll cut myself. Here we go. Just use this, and I'm just going to. I've already done the mould, taken it out, and I'm just going to trim it off, and then I will trim it down later on. Just taking the excess off so I don't waste any. Because as a skin flint lady. You're a skin flint? Yeah. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeky man. You're a tight one. Oh, yeah, I'm really tight. I don't waste nothing if I can help it. You look like a fucking And now, a good job I didn't hear that because all, all the sound went off. I'm a what? Never mind. <laughs> you, you ain't daft, lady. <laughs> now, what I'll do is I'll just leave that to harden now. Well, it has to go in the oven, doesn't it? And just add that to that one. So we've done that mould. I'm going to do the camera now. After I rub it in the hands to warm it up. <laughs> <laughs> No, I know. It's awful, isn't it? Yeah, that's okay. You can dress this up, but you can't take this anywhere. <laughs> so all I'm going to do is just do that. Cut the excess off. Like that. Just chop that down and then <clears throat> just make sure that's squashed in. Hopefully this will work. Pull the mould away from the FIMO and just ease that off with the other finger. So it's pulling the mould away. Like that. And there you go, you've got the camera. Yeah, it's a nice mould that. Just chop away the excess. I don't leave it too long, I just get it cut straight away. It says messing about later. Like that. And then we can take all of that off. Like that. There, we've got a camera. There, that flat. So that's that. Oops. Yeah, I need to get myself one of those little oven things that you have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Toaster oven, yeah. Wonder if we can get one of those at the car boot. Yeah, you could. Hopefully. I bet you forgot to look. Yeah. <laughs> well. I know, can't expect you to find everything. Yeah, I know, but uh, next time I'll write a list. But I can't, I can't believe I forgot to film the car boot. I wanted to do that to show people in America what our car boots are like. Yeah, that'd be interesting because... So that's what I'm hoping to do. Next time I go, I'll take the camera. You'll take us along with Yeah, I'll take you all along with me and see what you think to our car boots. <coughs> Leave that to set a bit in there, I think. Oh no, it's, it's coming out, it's coming out. Everybody's probably going to say, Eh, oh, you're doing that wrong, Fiona. If it works for you, then it's not wrong. Yeah, that's it, and it works, so. That's worked. 
And all I do then is chop all the bits off the dirt one. I'll trim it off later, just take the waste off now. It's pulled off like that. Yeah. Now I'll go for something else. Now you see that out. Yeah. I'll definitely sit on a project somewhere. <coughs> hmm. Oh, shall we do the teapot? I think I'll do the teapot. I'm going to leave that one on, see if it's better actually to leave that on, which probably is. But there you go. Thanks for watching. I'm going now. Okay, bye. Bye. Say bye-bye. Bye-bye, everybody. Come back now, dear. You all come back now.